speaking of Megyn Kelly, Megyn Kelly is the one that's been hammering home this idea that Kamala like has hocked her way to political success by dating the mayor of San Francisco and Montel Williams. Like, look, I, I, know, I know this thing about uh, Kamala has been out there for a while, but I do like the Montel Williams keeps being included on this, like her climbing the ladder of success. He was politics. fighting with Cat Turd. you can't get to the top of the democratic party without fucking montel williams obama (laughs) did it biden did it it's kissing it's kissing the ring you know before james Clyburn will even talk to you you have to show him proof that you blew montel yeah you have to open your mouth and show that it's still on your tongue that's how they that's how we knew bernie was serious in 2020 is he he sucked montel clean on a live stream yeah but he didn't go down to jim Clyburn's office and show him his mouth though yeah, Which I think that was, yeah. Like, why didn't he do that? Why didn't it's he like, just yeah, show him the load? He in wasn't his mouth? serious. He wasn't yeah, serious. You, you already blew Montel. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, come on. Sunk cost. <laughs> but Alex, you're the one that pointed out that uh, in Megan, Megan Kelly got all this uh, positive press coverage because she was the one who came out and talked about how she got her job at Fox, which was basically like, you know, showing off for Roger Ailes. I mean, I thought like sleeping your they way made to a the movie top. about it. Yeah. <laughs> sleeping your way yeah. to the top is like a tried and true path to success. And honestly, like when people say it's illegitimate to sleep your way to the top, if you're a woman uh, untrue, I mean, like it's more impressive to me to get to, to get there in politics, doing the things that, that like sleeping with Montel or Willie Brown, than it is to do any things that men do to get to the, the top of the political uh, ladder. It's way it's a better, it's a more impressive and translatable skill then, you know, I don't know how Bill Clinton got on to, got to the top of the Democratic Party. Yeah, if you can get to be president by sucking dick, like, I don't think Megyn Kelly really got to the top. She's kind of been, like, <laughs> no, no, just no. falling off yeah. Yeah, for Megan, years. Megyn Kelly gets, like, 10,000 views, and it's so sad because she's basically, like, it's like when you put an animal in captivity. Taken out of her natural habitat of the news, she's just doing the news for, like, 5,000 people on YouTube. And it's like, Megan, you're not the news anymore. It's really, really depressing. Yeah, she doesn't offer anything compared to Newsmax or any of the crazy people on Telegram and Gab and Rumble. They're just there's so much stronger shit out there. Yeah. And also she came out against Trump, didn't she? Didn't yeah, she, she have like a lib phase? No, she did. She did. She had an MSNBC phase, right? Or didn't she switch networks? She came out. She was briefly on MSNBC. They paid like tens of millions of dollars to like fire her and not have her on TV because she like I was like was it Black Santa? That was something writers. about Black Santa. Yeah, something yeah, like she that. was like we all know Santa Claus is white. Okay, like, we've all seen the photographs. Anyhow, um yeah, she she was on MS but yeah, her Trump thing was during the de- before the debate or during the debate, she like asked him some like kind of tough question, I think. And Trump said Oh, she looked. She looked like she was bleeding out of her eyes, or another part of her body. Oh, right. Like her, yes. like her yes. pussy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Was that 2016? That was 2015, I think. He won after that. Yeah, he did. You he can say some real foul things about women and still win. Unfortunately, you can say you grab them by the pussy and they let you do it, and you will still win. We've seen it happen. 